Touch of the gloves here by both gentlemen. Really Eman excited about this fight. Yeah, really. Emmanuel coming out southpaw. You know, Aaron Mick, I'm telling you, he's come out of big rig Johnny, uh, Johnny's camp. Yeah, and, 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 he's, and he's throwing good, I tell you, he's throwing good strikes. Emmanuel, big striker. Oh, that's a nice punch there by Mick. You know, I'm really not liking how the sun is really affecting the visual. Oh, oh what a flying knee. Yeah. Fly, oh, fly, oh, what a takedown. Flying knee missed. And Mick takes Emmanuel to the ground. But those long legs definitely are not going to hey, keep that man on the go, ground. Hey, listen, good job. Good job by Emmanuel to, uh, to get up right there. But I'll tell you, Aaron is one of those guys, man. You know, once he finds his range and his rhythm, man, that jab is lethal. Emmanuel Calhoun, the knees and the Muay Thai. Yeah, and I tell you right there, right there, Emmanuel did a heck of a job. And I tell you, for a guy that is really a Muay Thai specialist, a striking specialist, doing a heck of a job on the ground. You know, the last time we saw Emmanuel, uh, he was laying directly on his back, jumped up, flying knee, knocked out his opponent. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. And here, Mick is Mick's trying to use the cage. He's a little far away to do this back backflip rollover. Uh, not sure if he's going to be able to, 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 to get there, and he's going to try. Ooh, almost got it, but that's real good. He jumps into half guard there. Much better position. Controlling one of the legs of Emmanuel's. Emmanuel on top. And this is the first fight out of the three that we've seen thus far. Would anybody spend any time on the ground? Exactly. And I'll tell you right now, you know, for for Aaron Mick, you know, boxing and jiu-jitsu is, is the name of his game. Yeah, and he's, yeah, and he, he had him, a, he was going full guard there. And I, I tell you what, you would do really well to work your striking game off your back here before you get to your feet. Because if you, if you let Emmanuel get up like that, He's got such long limbs. He's going to come back in with those bombs and try and knock your ass out while you're on the ground. Well, a guy like that, a guy like uh, Emmanuel, you know, you do a body lock. You know, from, from the ground position, you're on your back, you do a body lock. Just because he has long legs, long arms, he's still really dangerous. Even if you can dr draw him into your hips and draw him out, you, you want to keep him as close as you yeah, can. Yeah, you, you really don't, yeah, you don't want this guy getting away and teeing off on you. Yes. You want to be in a position to get onto your feet if you, if you can in, in the appropriate way. And right here, Mick's doing a really good job. He's working working with the cage a little bit. There he gets turned over to the side. Oh, it looks but, like but he's going, is he going, is that an arm of is he going for okay. No, I mean, he's just doing, he just had wrist control of the manuals. But he's doing a good job of moving. He's staying busy. He's trying to do a simple sweep here by coming over the top. He's going to miss that. But he's staying busy on his back, and that's what you want to do. It'll keep you from getting your head knocked off. And, and, and he's not putting himself in a position to just completely take a beating. And then great, you know, now he needs, to, he needs to explode and stand up right here. He needs to turn into Emmanuel and stand up. You can't give you can't give this away. He was wow. gonna, he was gonna tap wow. out. He was gonna tap out. And Jesus, I think I think, think Calhoun choked him out. He's out. That was it. Yeah. Calhoun checked him. Has tapped him out. Wow. Calhoun has choked him out. In less than in less than five seconds, he tapped him out. Yeah. Emmanuel had just a little cut under the nose, but a guy that we've seen do disgusting but world that, knockout just choked out. But you know the crazy. I want to see the replay because he sunk the hooks in with about five seconds left. Well, and that's the thing. He really and didn't get his was, hooks in good. He really didn't. No. no he was a it was a lazy back uh, back choke. And, and I don't know that Mick realizes what the heck happened. I mean, he's just out. He's asleep. He's asleep. We're trying to look for the uh, timekeeper to see what the time on that was. Well, I would say two minutes, 59 seconds. All right, here we go. As we watch the replay here, no hooks are involved. Now watch. Emmanuel gets it, gets the arm around, sinks in the choke, and that is tight right there. It looks like there, there was a tap. He tried to single tap, but he was already out. That was a quick, that was a quick choke.